Today we are going to make ourselves something that I have not been able to find on the internet. It's an ER32 collet holder from my Morse Taper 2 tailstock. Um, I just haven't really been able to find anything out there so what I got chucked up in the lathe here is a big hunk of 4140 pre-hardened and it's a uh, 2 inch OD we're going to turn this end down to 700 thousandths for the Morse taper 2 uh, taper and then uh, what I'm going to do is take it out of the chuck put my Morse taper 5 to Morse taper 2 adapter in my spindle shove my freshly turned spindle um, taper into the headstock and then I can turn the other end of it which will be uh, the 8 degree taper for the uh, ER32 collet as well as threading the outside for the uh, the collet nut so uh, yeah this thing uh, this is this is some hard tough stuff here and uh, I've already gone through one insert it was a used one I got a new one in there now but I can only take about 10 15 thousandths worth of uh, material off per pass because it's just so damn hard it's gonna uh, make a pretty nice tool when it's done but uh, it's kind of uh, tough to machine on this uh, small lathe so um, I'm gonna do most of this turning down to the basic diameters off camera and um, then I'll set up my uh, my compound uh, for the uh, Morse taper and probably show you some of that I, I know in the last video I showed turning the taper so um, you know I'll show uh, some uh, setup on it and then uh, you know hopefully uh, we'll get through this thing pretty quickly it, uh, it is tough to turn though I, <laughs> this is just a piece of uh, piece of round bar I had on my uh, my scrap bin uh, I had regular mild steel 1018 in 2 inch but I figured what the heck I might as well make this thing into a real durable tool so that's what I'm doing here um, I'll be back at you when, uh, when we uh, get going more on this thing oh yeah baby lots of blue chips Chips, the razor sharp shards. You can see where the uh, yellow was. I was taking 10,000 cuts. And I progressed up to from 15 to 20. And that's the dark blue stuff. Looks cool, man. Kind of wish I could save this stuff for a. Uh, a shop based Christmas tree garland or something because it uh, and I hope you can see that on the camera it's really sharp looking okay so uh, I got this thing set up for my taper and uh, did my little uh, taper adjustment so now we're on a Morse taper too and I learned something here see this cable goes to my taper motor it used to be just regular zip cord but when you're making all these new pretty chips I guarantee you that one of these red hot things is going to land on that wire and melt it. And when it melts it, it's going to blow the crap out of your wall wart. So, 
I put some uh, put some braid over that cable and I rerouted it a little bit so that it wouldn't be laying in the chip pan and um, I took my wall ward apart and fixed it so everything's back happy again um, so we're ready to go we got the tool in here everything's lined up on center um, this part right here is turned down to about 705 there's a tape or so it's about 705 up here and about 700 down here Ooh, got to tighten that in there um, but I don't care because I'm going to turn this end down even more so the little taper won't make a difference um, so yeah, that's about it for this one. I'm gonna go in and make some make some dinner, and um, I'll be out here tomorrow, and we'll hopefully finish this thing up. Um, we're gonna have to turn some metric threads over here, and um, on the inside of this thing, there's gonna be an eight degree taper. So this is kind of a fun little thing here. Lots of different things to uh, set up for. So we'll see you tomorrow. We uh, we'll turn this taper tomorrow, and then, like I said, once we get this down to a good Morse taper two fit, we'll take the chuck off, and we'll put this this thing in the in the spindle, and we'll take this taper that we turned, put it in there. This thing will be around, you know, facing the other way. And then we can turn this, and we'll be guaranteed that we'll be concentric with the spindle. Not that we really have to be within a thou or anything, but it's good practice to make it as accurate as possible. Um, you know, I already have a, uh, a call it chuck I made. For the spindle end of things so um, it'll be kind of nice having the option of putting uh, ER32 collets in either the headstock or the tailstock um, I do have a chuck for my tailstock but it's only it goes up to a half inch I do have some bigger bits that I'd like to turn. These things here I think are like 5 eighths. You can see I've turned down the shank on one of these, but I don't like doing that. So I will sh very shortly be able to accommodate something that is way too big for my, my uh, tail stuck. Which is, I think, uh, I don't even know, I can't even read it, but I think it's uh, 11 sixteenths or something like that. So, uh, yep, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.